Hi everyone, Stan here at J&D Gardens. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Please support the channel by planting that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Well, we have a quick walk maker video uh, for you today. We're gonna show you how to handle uh, transitions with the stone path. So stick around. Welcome back. So it's actually Labor Day and I'm out here laboring away trying to finish off the uh, path. We're here in uh, uh, Garden East and um, a lot of people have asked me how to handle transition so I thought this would be a uh, great video to show you real quick. It's going to be a short one today. Um, so uh, bear with the audio. I didn't have a chance to set up everything but you should be able to hear me pretty well. So um, again uh, if you're not familiar the quick reap path maker or walk maker rather is a, is a template system where you lay on the ground, you pour in concrete, and it gives you a certain design. Now there are several different designs. You can check them out in the link below. Um, so uh, like I said, a lot of people have asked how to handle the transitions. Because uh, we recently actually, I know it's a mess here, but it's been kind of raining on and off, very muddy here. Um, we actually, uh, in the back part of Garden East, we actually added these uh, pavers because we did some paperwork and we followed it all the way through. And it's pretty nice to get to keep some of our cannas here on platforms. So we, uh, most of uh, Garden East is the walk maker. Um, so uh, we had to find a way to uh, mix them both together. So uh, transition right here. So I was going to kind of make it pretty simple. I was actually just going to bring the walk maker out, obviously, to the, these regular uh, Cambridge uh, stones and just uh, cut a straight line. And it's really not too difficult. Um, um, there's a couple of tools I'll show you uh, how to handle it. Um, as you can see, if you come a little closer, we uh, just kind of redid this area right here because we weren't finished with it and we followed it through. And so what we had to do is uh, bring the path maker, the walk maker over. So now uh, one of the things, as you can see that if I were to lay the template here and try to pour concrete, it wouldn't work because it's, uh, it's actually higher because uh, we set the ground lower and this, uh, we want it to be a nice transition at the end of the day. So how do you handle something like that? Well, it's actually pretty simple and it's the one time you're allowed to do this. I would say what I do is I actually just grab a piece of uh, uh, wood, a piece of plywood, and then I put the stone, the walk maker, right on it. Uh, make sure you get the right size. There we go. Uh, and then I pour the concrete inside the stones, whichever ones I need. And so the bottom will actually come out pretty flat to match. You can see the lines from the uh, plywood that I use. It's not going to match the surface of the ground. Uh, but, you know, for the small area you're going to do, that's going to be fine. This allows you, like I said, to make whichever ones you need. And once they dry out, then you can put them and mess with them like where, however you need. I didn't have to make them all, so I did certain ones. So now I know that I needed this one, which is this one right here, this piece right here. So now I'm gonna come here, lay it in there. Those I laid out the way you're supposed to, uh, but like I said, this, these, we have to uh, kind of work with the space that we have. So the next part is really cutting it, which really, really <coughs> excuse me, really isn't as difficult as the team. Bear in my voice, I'm just getting over something. <coughs> so um, I kind of line them up the way I want. I know it's nice, perfectly edge here. Grab some kind of roller. This is an old level I have. And to mark it, uh, you can use a pencil. I like to use, it's called a uh, marking crayon. You can get these at Home Depot or Harbor Freight or whatever have you. So you kind of line it up. You want to make sure that you got the right size. And then I'm just going to take this one out. So I'm going to kind of follow that. And I kind of eye it. And then I kind of just mark it. And I'll cut a little more on the line because it's on an angle. So it'll fit in there perfect. Worst case scenario, I just have to go back and cut it again. Now to cut it, there's a couple of different ways of cutting it. If you have a grinder or... Um, or any kind of uh, cutting saw, you obviously want to make sure it's for ceramics or uh, concrete. Um, if you have a big area to do, um, I would suggest getting some kind of um, uh, wet saw. Uh, we actually have one. If you don't, 
and it's fair enough, then it might make sense to rent it. It just makes life so much easier. It's gonna be great. And you'll, usually the rental is like for four hours, you'll have that done in an hour. So, but it does make life a lot easier. So I've marked this here. I'm gonna walk over. Uh, should I do another one at the same time? Uh, maybe, I'll just mark two so I don't have to walk back. It's over on the driveway. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna mark it. Real simple, like I said, not, doesn't have to be perfect. When, by the time we uh, set this in, we're gonna put the dirt in there and you'll never notice. So let's grab these and uh, head over to the wet saw. All right, so I'm here on my driveway. I made a spectacular mess. You can see a nice ring of all the dust that's going in over. So we have our wet saw. This is one I've had for quite some while. It's actually, I got it at Harbor Freight and it's uh, been perfect. I've had this for, I don't know, seven, eight years, probably longer and the Chicago Electric, but uh, you know, obviously any wet saw if you have one. If you want a good workhorse, uh, you should check it out. It's, I've had it for years and I keep it stored in a tent and I haven't had a problem with it. It has a lot of nice features to it. So uh, uh, if you, you know, obviously if you're gonna rent one from Home Depot or Lowe's, they're gonna have a, a more uh, a professional grade. But you know, like I said, I've done a lot of tile work over the years and this one's worked perfectly. I don't care what people say about Harbor Freight tools. So anyway, I have my, uh, wheelbarrow here set for all the pieces that I've been cutting. So anyway, so uh, I have the mar line marked and the beauty of it is this isn't gonna slide because it's heavy. Uh, oh, a beauty thing about this one, it has, other than the squeak, uh, I can kind of lift it up so I can get a higher cut, but I'm gonna lock it in place. That squeak is terrible. So anyway, so I come in, if you wanna come around here and take a look, I'll actually line it up. Uh, come around so you can kind of see the line. I know it's getting uh, sun's coming out now It's gonna probably start monsooning in a second. So kind of just eye it really quick doesn't have to be totally perfect There's the yellow line. Hopefully you can make that in and well the wet saw is a diamond blade saw and it shoots water So there's a pump back here that sends the water to the blade. I'm gonna turn it on just so you can see the water spray see? And what that does it cools down the blade when you're cutting, it just makes life a lot easier. So hopefully it won't kick back at you. Let's try this one. No problem, that's concrete. And let me tell you, it's, uh, that blade's been on there for I don't know how many years. Uh, makes a mess, I've done a lot of cuts already. So that's one, I'm gonna just switch this out here. Same thing, I'm just gonna put it here, line it up by eye, because I know it's only a straight cut. Now, I don't mind the straight edge. Such a shut up. I don't mind the straight edge because it's going right up against the other pavers. But if you're kind of doing a cut and you want it to look more natural, uh, the beauty part about this one, I can kind of lift this up and then I can turn it on. And I can, I can kind of shape, shut that down. I can kind of shape it uh, to where I want, kind of make it look a little more natural. But since this is straight, uh, we don't have a problem. So let's grab these and see how we did. Okay, so we're back over here. Let's uh, see how we did. Uh, this one has a little piece broken off. Uh, that's fine. No problem. Uh, I think. Perfect. There's that little odd piece. Perfect. Now, it, it seems a little high now because I'm not done with it. I gotta still do a little more digging and then it's gonna be perfectly nice and flush. And uh, I might even put a plastic edging in here. I'm not totally sure yet. Just kind of want to cut this up. So, a few more cuts. Let me mark these. See if I do them all at once. And it's just an extra one I cut. It. I had some extra concrete. So if you have a piece that you're not sure about, uh, just make it. Like the beauty part of using the template, you can do whichever ones you want, especially when it's on concrete like this. So this was the one at the end over there. I did it because I thought I was going to have a problem with this stone for whatever reason. So I made a couple extra ones. So let me mark these. Oh, make sure there's nothing extra on them. Okay, again, I'm gonna do three at a time, not a problem. Just gonna mark them. Like that doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I know it's a straight line, and if I have to tweak it, I, so I go back and cut it. 
So let's grab these and make the final cuts. And uh, it should be pretty good. All right, of course the sun is coming out now. Sweating like an animal and it's just rainy here. So humid, so humid. <laughs> Have to get this work done. So let me, ah, there's that squeak again. Let me lock this down. Let me line up. You want to come on the end so you can kind of see the cuts again? So I'm going to line it up right here. Like I said, bye eye. Ah, probably waiting to get the questions or comments. I'm going to put my, sun my uh, safety glasses on. I just forgot when I was doing the video. So, all right. So, line it up. Two more to go. This one's a small cut. One of the cool things about this uh, Harbor Freight uh, one is that you can actually use it as a chop box uh, without the squeak, I should have. <laughs> but, so if I wanted to, I can just go down on it. But in this case, it's easy to slide, but I want to show you the purpose of having that. And I should definitely get some WD-40, but that's okay. So, almost there. Should be the last cut. I'll line it up. You can get it a little closer, you can see that. You can make out that yellow line. All right. That's it, a simple, see the cross section of uh, concrete, you see all the aggregates, pretty cool. So, let's grab these and finish up. All right, so, line these up, beautiful. There's another one, beautiful, and beautiful. All right, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do over there, kind of figuring that, but I made enough for here. As you can see, it's a nice, clean cut, real simple to do. As if you can uh, make the individual stones, uh, cutting it is not a problem. Again, I recommend using the uh, renting a wet saw, or if your friend has one, you can borrow it, whatever have you. And it's kind of worth it. Look, it just makes life so much. If you're here with a grinder, one, it uh, if you had a lot of area to do, it could be a uh, big pain, and um, then you have to worry about uh, it getting too hot and destroying the blade because cutting through concrete with all the aggregate, uh, that's where the water uh, jet comes in. So. Um, definitely I recommend doing that so um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of uh, start playing with the uh, the ground underneath it getting it perfect level so this will be uh, perfect when I was uh, doing this area I kind of dug it out I think I need a little bit more to get it flush but uh, if you come over here um, at the end of the day it'll uh, be nice and smooth transition so there won't be any tripping and then I'll clean up all this dirt that the <laughs> that the uh, 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 rain kind of brought on so Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions on the uh, Quick Re Walk Maker or any of these kind of templates, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. And um, also be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So from all of us here at J&D Gardens, from uh, Garden East, till next time, remember, yes we can. Uh,